You also have a lot of pressures to be perfect and to always win. How do you handle that? Oh my goodness. Well, you know, being in a competitive world, I was mm -hmm. a competitive dancer, you know, you're being judged and scrutinized. Right. Big part's kind of part of the gig, but at a very young age, I had this, you know, belief in myself, which was like, am I enough? Am I good enough? And then over time, you create this belief, like, in order for me to feel like I'm enough, I have to achieve something. Mm -hmm. In order for me to feel like I was worthy, I had to succeed. I had to win, and only then would I feel like I was enough. Mm. But the truth, and I accomplished some amazing things. You know, yes. I was, became the world champion, had all these accolades, all these awards, and then I'd come home, and I still didn't feel like I was enough. Because what I didn't really realize at the time is that it's not really about what we achieve in this life that really matters. It's about who we become as a person along yes. the way. That's really going to fulfill us, you know? And, uh, and when you start to realize that you already are enough, you already mm -hmm. are. You always have been and you always will be, no matter what. And that's a, that's a beautiful place to start from. And I really like, would love to tell little Derek that. <laughs>